just basically found the story and when I first heard it I was just completely thrown back by how something like this could even happen in this time and age in a progressive country like the United States which is a champion of democratic rights and um, not being from the United States myself I felt like this is the kind of thing that can set a precedent and a role model for other communities and societies too to see that okay bad things happen in great countries too but this is how good people deal with such bad things and bring justice to people who have been victimized so I felt like it was a very important story to share. The more we dug deep into the bureaucracy and kind of the the history and the, and the current events of the story we came to realize that the most significant part of the story was not being told, and that was the story of the victims themselves. I think the, the people, um, the victims that we're featuring in the film, we take our cues from them as well, because they don't really see themselves as victims. They see themselves as advocates and people who are fighting for this cause. So, for example, Elaine, she's been fighting for this cause for many years now. Like she's taken this case to the court and she's constantly speaking at public platforms. So these people are brave, courageous people and they they don't want our sympathies. They just want to be understood and they just want other people to realize how something like this can happen and how it shouldn't happen again. The eugenics in the state of North Carolina took something away from me. It was worse, it was worse than taking my arm or my leg. And you gotta tell me twenty to fifty thousand, that's an insult to me. That's all I want to say. That's an insult. And yes, I'm angry. I am angry. I had to live like this all of my life. When we went first went to go visit Annie and we were sitting in her living room and she was um, just opening her heart to us and opening her soul and just sharing this incredibly powerful, difficult story um, and this realization that um, we have been given this gift um, of her story and it's, it's now That's our job so as filmmakers to share that story with the world. That's and Terry it was kind of this incredible sense trailer. of responsibility. This is Kenneth. This is Dennis. This is Rex. He's the one that li lived at Statesville and worked at Mitchell College. And this is Carol. And this is Diane. And this is my little sweetie. I, I know that I married into a good family. And I know that Although I'm not a, a real mother, Did you get it all? they claim me as a, a real mother. Um, it's been so very humbling to see these victims, I don't even want to say victims, but these, these people who have suffered this terrible experience open up to us and open up their homes to us and speak to the camera such brave, courageous things. I have like tremendous respect for that and I hope this this comes across to, to the viewers as well, how, how these people have struggled throughout their lives with this terrible past and how they've overcome it and the, the bravery they exhibit every day.